Some pretty big news. Oh, okay. Well, oh my God! How did you put on you? R? You just let the, no. the, the audience doesn't know what I was. No, shaking. your quinoa puffs are definitely more important in my world right now. Right. Much, Chris. But I know, Chris. Is your, go ahead, Chris. Are uh, you going to mention Brock retiring? I, uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. You, you give it. Oh, sure. Uh, <laughs> is there anything worse than when someone cock blocks? That was news? wrong. <laughs> is that was that what you just? I did? was joking. <laughs> is he retiring? He is. Dana said to ESPN <laughs> that Brock told him he's done. That he's retired. And now this is not official by the UFC, but this is reported by Dana and ESPN that DC and Stipe have I, verbally committed to fighting each I, other. All right, let's address one at a time. Yeah. I mean, just Brock, I can't wait about the second one. I'm so excited. But about Brock retiring, yes, he's a big, huge draw. Did he get popped for steroids? Yeah, I believe he did. But was it legit? He got, I don't know. Against, got, against Mark Hunt, what was it? That was a legit. That wasn't like a supplement or anything. That was a, a legit suspension. I'm yeah. happy he's gone. And he should have never been able to fight again anyway. How about that? For the people out there saying, oh, you pick on TJ. Why don't you say the John Jones? And no, listen, the guy's not cold busted. I mean, you know, that's a debate. Yeah. That's a debate. Sure. This is not. If, if Brock got popped, that's right. why I remember when Mark Hutton's like, I don't blame Mark, Mark Hutton. He was Mark furious. Hunt, I don't blame him for being as upset as he was, you know? As another tough, chubby guy, I am with you, Mark Hunt. I am with you. Yep. You know, you know, I don't like that shit with Brock Lesnar, man. I'm glad he's not fucking coming back. I'll be honest. I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. I would much rather see uh, Stipe and DC just because I like Stipe so much. You know, but hold and on, you want to see Jimmy? I'm right. sorry, Jimmy. I don't mean sure. to cut you off because okay. I'm getting annoyed. Brock Lesnar's a beast. Yeah, a beast. He can hurt. You don't think he can hurt somebody without steroids? Absolutely. You know what he could do to so he could end somebody's life. Yeah. How dare him? And how dare everybody not make a big deal about it? Yeah. Okay, let's move on. I just want to. I agree that. with you. I'm. I'm I don't very know. Happy. Am I, why do we pick and choose on uh, on who should be fucking have that le scarlet letter on him? Yeah. Hey, I, I I was never caring if he came back or not. I mean, look, I watch him when he fights. Sure, it's always uh, he's such a big dude, and he does. He did beat people again for whatever reason. But you you would I would watch him. But I would much much rather see DC fight uh, 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 Stipe Me or too. JDS They're or both fucking not Curtis cheaters. Blades They're, or well, Nganu, anybody. Well, well, first of all, I'm happy as heck. Oh, language. Well, sometimes I got to go there. <laughs> that that Stipe is back, man. I miss Stipe. And it proves he was smart to wait, too, because they might have said, look, Brock, Brock might not clear or Brock might in your net. And yeah. so I'm, I'm happy for Stipe, too. I mean, and... Just to make him make me like him more, he did like a gi match the other day for charity. Yeah, how'd <laughs> so, he do? I, he might he didn't get he didn't like get beat up or anything. He just lost on like a decision or oh, something. Okay. That's like a judge's decision, but sure. it wasn't. You know, the guy's nobody's gonna do nothing to him. He's but that's that. Dude, look at that. Like, he puts a gi on. Does that for sure? You know, he's gonna be he'd be a lot tougher with the gi off. I'm sure. What, but what belt is he in jujitsu? I'm not sure, but he's an awesome human being, just like the champ is, just and like a DC, and a fireman. No, he's a hero. He's a man's man. You know, no, yeah, listen, I, I was going to say, and credit, and you're right, credit to DC because he said all along, if Brock's not there, it is Steve yep. that I'll fight, and well, he wasted no time and immediately. And, I, and yeah. not to be, not to you know, contradict myself because in the past I was happy about the DC and Brock fight. I even I forgot about the whole steroid thing, but uh, <laughs> I, I did. I, yeah. I'm like, wait, did he do the steroids? And I forget until somebody brings it up. But uh, I was kind of just, you know what overshadowed that was yes. more of the fact that I was kind of happy for DC. Because yeah. I wanted him to get a payday, and I know he, I know he yes. beat up Brock Lesnar. You know, Brock's kind of like a bully. Like if he doesn't get beat up the guy, he's yeah. fucking. It's not Brock's working. dangerous on the ground, though. No, Brock was first very of all, dangerous on the wait, ground. Wait, wait, listen. Me saying the guy's a cheater and everything. He's not saying the guy's not dangerous. Yeah, the guy's an absolute beast. Right. His hands the size of Pete Drago's head. I'm mean, that's big. Yeah. But it's big. He's got a big head. Yeah, but if uh, he said a small guy, it wouldn't be very effective. No, if I said his hands the, the size of Jimmy's little bird head, he'd be like, oh come on, those adorable Jimmy little hands. Little I do have a little bird little head. Bird. Yes, I do. I'm sorry. That's a compliment. But <laughs> Birds are marvelous <laughs> creatures. <laughs> Listen, but uh, so no, he's all, but he's so dangerous, and then you have to cheat. Ah, yeah, 
You know, you're not hitting somebody with a fucking folded chair doing some bullshit. I mean, this is real, man. You're, you're putting your elbow into somebody's face. And you're going to make yourself eat. You're already like a, a giant of it. Like probably have giant's blood in you from fucking yeah. Game of Thrones. Yes. Why would you do something to make you stronger to cave somebody's fucking face in? Now, the, I don't know. The it's opening, so wrong. I agree with you. The opening fight of this card. Now, do we have a uh, wow. Cub Swanson fighting Shane Burgos? Give me Shane uh, Burgos. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, that's okay. No, he's you want his record? Sure, Shane Burgos. Burgos. Yeah. Yeah. Could you give us his record, please, Shane Burgos? Yeah, I'm double checking. I think, fight, he's, I think he he's lost 11, one. I think he's 11 and one. Shane Burgos. Yeah. He got knocked out by Calvin Cater. Um, oh, Calvin Cater's tough. Very tough. And that, sorry, but that's it. Otherwise, he's, don't be sorry. Hold on, guys. You enjoy a puff. <laughs> give Daddy a puff. Your daddy's gonna have a puff. That's all I want. Oh my God! So sad to watch. <laughs> We're good. Sorry, everybody. Go ahead. Back to business. Uh, uh, Shane Burgos is 11 and 1. Only lost to Calvin Cater. Otherwise, he is 5 and 1 in the UFC. He's been around. And Cub's on a three fight losing streak. But I always think a guy like Cub is so, I mean, always dangerous. But when you catch a guy as good as he is, who's yeah. had as many fights as Cub, who's a veteran, 35 fights. That's a s fucking dangerous guy. No, like, I think Ross Pearson lost four straight. It can't happen. Hold no. on now, guys. I want to hear. I want to. All right, guys. Go ahead. So let's go. What's up? Uh, you know what? I believe in Swanson. Do a do a do a do a. Hey, I think he's gonna win this fight. I believe in Swanson. Do a do. A. There, I'm enjoying it. You, you want me to sing some more? Not in uh, the moment. I, Let me do my pick first. I be, what? Hold on. You're going to pick Swanson. I believe in Swanson. Yep. Do I, uh, do I, uh, do I, uh, do I. Uh, uh, I believe he's going to win this how? fight. What? How? You know, this is how. I know I know. you're looking at Shane Burgess and being like, yo, this guy's dangerous, man. Mm -hmm. But, you know, let me bring up a little Calvin Cater. Cutter. Cater, yep. Let's call the whole thing off. Listen, I'm going with Cub Swanson by submission. Yep. That's what I'm going to go by. I know it what sounds... round? Can I lead up to... Sorry, one? Matt. You're right. I stand correct. I apologize. No, Jimmy. I can't stay mad at you. No, no, no. I apologize. Yeah, I thought Fine. why I didn't so Everybody hears it. Ow. No, Jimmy. That was the worst. I lost my ass. One more time, Jimmy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that was a fun one. Spanking dad. Uh, I'm going to say Cub Swanson... <laughs> Dude, he's got to make a statement. I think he's training hard, man. He's got miles to feed, man. Mm -hmm. um, submission, second round. Okay. You know, I don't want to be a copycatter, but I also have to go with the second round submission. You're going to say Cub in the second round. Cub in the second round. Yeah, Shane's very dangerous, but I think Cub having lost three straight, a guy like that is just a veteran like that is dangerous. Uh, I agree. I'm a big fan of Cub. I think this is a pretty big step up in competition for Shane Burgos. I'm going to take Cub by third round. Savage. Now, what is uh, Elias Theodoro's record? Oh. Elias Theodoro is 16 and 2. Um, and I think he's won three in a row? I gotta double check. See, now this one, I like Derek Brown. I like, see, first of all, I swear, like has nothing to do with it. No, nothing to do with it. But I like Derek Bronson a lot. If I like uh, somebody, Elias, I shouldn't pick him because I suck. A lot, I'm, I'm not great at picks either. But Elias Theodoro, I actually have some history with. The guy's been at my school before. You know, he's trained over at Weidman's. Oh, my God. Fucking pussy. Um, so it's like, you know, I, I kind of sometimes, if it is a scale like that, I kind of go with my heart a little bit. But even with my head, I feel Elias, it, it is true. He is a, he is an enigma. <laughs> Still getting idiot, Jimmy. I'm sorry. He's an enigma. He's hard to figure yeah, out. He is. He is. My fucking mic. Yeah, it's rangy, a lot of movement. You know, he's, uh, he's, he's good at not getting hit. Landing, he mixes in the takedowns well. I'm gonna say Elias by decision. Yep. I'm gonna say Elias Theodoro by a third round stoppage. Well, now you get third nutty. Stoppage. No, don't get me wrong. It's not that he's not able. Oh man. Um, I liked what I heard from Brunson. I like that he's training at Hard Knocks 365. Yep. Henry Hooft and all those guys. Hooft. I st I still think in the heat of a fight. Brunson tends to get a little wild. You know what I mean? And then I, I think that's going to be the difference in the fight. I think Elias is going to end up winning this by decision. He stays out of the way of getting hit yeah, a lot. Of course. He'll land a little more. I could also see Brunson it. knocking him out in the first round. Like, Absolutely. You know, Brunson, I, because of that, yeah. his left is a big fuck. It's that's big the fuck. other way I would do it. I think if, if Brunson wins, it's a first round knockout. But I, I'm going to take Elias by decision. Okay. Now, Raging Al. Raging Al. I'll go with Raging Al. Cerrone. 
this is a good fight. Now, Al obviously is going to look, I, I think, to, to punch and to knock him out. I'm going to take Al by decision. And the reason I think it's going to go to decision is because Cowboy is such a smart fighter. Uh, he's got his legs are great weapons. He's going to know how to keep some distance. And he's also great on the ground. So if he gets hurt, I think that he is going to be very, very uh, uh, a quick to try to either take Al down or, or hold him up against the. He's a smart fighter. Yeah. Um, so I don't I don't know if Al's going to knock him out, but I'm going to say Al by decision. Fair I'll tell enough. you my decision after. Yeah, we'll so, get your pick after. You know. um, I'm, of course, going to take Raging Al. I'm taking Raging Al by fourth round stoppage. I think Cowboy cuts a lot of weight to get down to 155. You know what? I didn't think of the weight cut. I, Al, we've I, talked about it before. That's the wrong guy to be standing in front of if you even get a little bit tired. We always see Al won the fifth round against Kevin Lee. Impressive. You're right. Yep. I think Al's going to push the pace. By this time, I think he's going to get a stop in the fourth round. Chris, I forgot about the weight cut. Yep. Um, what is Cowboy doing at this weight? Isn't he almost a little better than 500 at this weight? Um, he's, or was that when he went up? That was when he went up. I mean, he's got a very good record at, at lightweight. It's not, like a, it's not like it's a foregone conclusion, but I just think that, that if there's any bit of tiredness that's going to happen in the fight, I think Al's going to take full advantage of it. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button with its notification bell and leave a comment in the comment box below of what you thought of the video and tune in for more on MMA News Outlet.